7 at 5.30 with Paul Berry and Chris Curl. News 7 with David Schumacher, Dan Lovett on sports, Sam Allred with the weather, Chris Curl and people, and a special report from Betsy Ashton. Good evening. From the district, Maryland, Virginia, and the world, this is News 7 with Paul Berry and Chris Gordon. Good evening. Jumbo jets may be coming to... News 7 with David Schumacher at the Democratic National Convention in New York and Renee Poussant in Washington. Good evening. I'm Renee Poussant. David is at the Democratic Convention at New York's Madison Square Garden. This is News 7 with Chris Gordon and Paul Berry. Good evening. For the first time in history... This is News 7 530 Live with Robin Chapman, Chris Gordon, Tim Brandt, and Gary Shore. today in his annual report on smoking. This is News Scope 7 with Renee Poussant, Paul Berry, Frank Herzog, and Jim Ramsey. This is News 7, the 6 o'clock report with Renee Poussant and David Schumacher, Alan Eustace with the weather, Tim Brandt on sports, and Paul Berry with 7 on your side. WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C. From News 7, this is the 6 o'clock report with David Schumacher, Renee Poussant, Jim Ramsey, and Frank Herzog. This is the News 7 Update with David Schumacher and Renee Poussant, Gary Shore with the weather, Tim Brandt on sports, and tonight, Paul Berry with 7 on your side. From WJLA-TV in Washington, this is News 7 at 5.30. With Paul Berry, Jim Dyer, Frank Herzog with sports, and Jim Ramsey with the weather. And now, News 7 at 5.30. From WJLA-TV in Washington, this is News 7, the 6 o'clock report. With Renee Poussant, David Schumacher, Frank Herzog with sports, Jim Ramsey with the weather, and Paul Berry with 7 on your side. And now, the 6 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Renee Poussant. From WJLA-TV in Washington, this is News 7, The Weekend Report. Good evening, I'm Jim Barry. Robin Chapman has the night off. From WJLA-TV in Washington, this is News 7 tonight. Joe Theismann's troubled season ended tonight in a collision with the Giants' offense. Good evening. From WJLA-TV in Washington, this is News 7, The Weekend Report. Washington, D.C. The news continues with News 7's Morning Report. Thousands are expected to bun out today. From WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C. News 7, the noon report. From WJLA, Washington, D.C. This is News 7 at 5 o'clock. From WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C. News 7 at 5. With Paul Berry, Doris McMillan, Dan Lewis, Dave Sweeney's Weather, Frank Herzog Sports, and Target 7's Roberta Baskin. Now, News 7 at 5. Good evening. Tonight... 
JLA TV, Washington, D.C. The news continues with Renee Poussant, Wes Sargentson, Dave Sweeney, and Frank Herzog. Now, News 7 at 6. Good evening, a bizarre twist in the case under... From WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C., Channel 7 presents a first look at the day's news on News 7's Morning Report. The Washington Redskins are bowl-bound for the third time in a decade. From the nation's capital at noon, Channel 7 brings you a report of the day's developing stories. News 7's Noon Report. From the nation's capital... WJLA-TV Channel 7 brings you comprehensive coverage of the day's events. News 7 at 5. Good evening, everyone. At this hour, crews have rushed to Dulles Airport. Where From WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C. The news continues. From the nation's capital, this is News 7 at 6. Good evening. I'm Dale Solly. And I'm Renee Poussant in Atlanta. I'll have all the news from the Democratic Convention in just a few moments. WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C. From the nation's capital, this is News 7's late edition. Thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C. From the nation's capital, this is News 7's late edition. It's scaled down, but the tradition continues at the old post office. Live from the nation's capital, where news can change the world. Washington's most important hour of news, News 7's Evening Edition. Jury selection is underway in the trial of Rifle Edmund, who's accused of masterminding the district's biggest cocaine ring. Good evening, I'm Renee Poussaint. And I'm Jim Harriet. Now, from News 7. Your 24-hour news source. This is News 7 at 11. Tonight, there are no new... WJLA-TV. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source. Horace Hall. Greta Cruz. Jeff Gilbert Weather. This is the News 7 Morning Show. WJLA-TV. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source, Paul Berry. Kathleen Matthews. Jeff Gilbert Weather. Rennie Knott Sports. This is News 7 at 5. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source, this is News 7 at 5. Scientists are concerned about a rare and dangerous strain of strep. WJLA-TV. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source. This is News 7 at 6. WJLA-TV. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source. Mike Hambrick. Susan King. Jeff Gilbert Weather. Rennie Knott Sports. This is News 7 at 6. FBI agents are headed to this city in western Pakistan. It's the hometown of the man wanted in the shootings of five people outside CIA headquarters in northern Virginia. Good evening, I'm Mike Hambrick. And I'm Susan King. WJLA-TV. Now from News 7, your 24-hour news source. Renee Poussaint. Susan King. Jeff Gilbert Weather. Frank Herzog Sports. This is News 7 at 11. Now, from News 7, your 24-hour news source. This is News 7 at 11. Now, from WJLA-TV. 
This is News 7 at 11. Now, from WJLA TV Sports. Redskins Magazine. Your host for Redskins Magazine, Rennie Knott. You're looking live at Green River Stadium where tonight the Steelers and the Redskins meet in preseason football. Now, from WJLA TV, this is Good Morning Washington 530. Freezing temperatures are expected to arrive in the D.C. area. Now, from WJLA-TV, this is Good Morning Washington. Cold temperatures descending on... Driving can be even more hazardous to your health, not because of the roads, but rather because of the people behind the wheel. We'll have the disturbing results of a new survey. And in the second part of his series, Brad Bell looks at some solutions to ease the anger among middle-class men who feel victimized by corporate downsizing. Good evening, I'm Kathleen Matthews. I'm Paul Berry. This is News 7 at 6 o'clock. Now, from WJLA-TV. This is News 7 at 11. A police officer is hit by a car during a chase. We'll have the latest on his condition. You're watching News 7 at 5 with Kathleen Matthews and Del Walters. Your pinpoint accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill and running off with sports. This is News 7 at 5. You're watching Washington's ABC 7. We're on your side. This is News 7 at 6. A win in Virginia was supposed to be a sure bet for George W. Bush. You're watching News 7 at 6 with Maureen Bunyan and Kathleen Matthews. Your pinpoint accurate weather forecast with Jeff Gilbert. And running out with sports. This is News 7 at 6. You're watching News 7 at 6 with Maureen Bunyan and Kathleen Matthews. Your pinpoint accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill and running out with sports. This is News 7 at 6. You're watching Washington's ABC 7. We're on your side. This is News 7 at 11 with Maureen Bunyan. Good evening. Now, News 7 continues with Maureen Bunyan. Your pinpoint accurate weather forecast with Jeff Gilbert. And running out on sports, this is News 7 at 11. Your side. This is News 7 at 11. And a good evening, everybody. From ABC 7 News, proud to be on your side. Good morning, Washington. And good morning to you, Washington. It's You're watching ABC 7's Good Morning, Washington with Carol Costello, Don Hudson, and meteorologist Alexandra Steele with live Super Doppler 7. Good morning, Washington. Proud to be on your side. This is ABC 7 News at 5. The market actually held its own today. As Proud to be on your side. This is ABC 7 News at 6. For the second time in a week. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6 with Maureen Bunyan, Kathleen Matthews, Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill, and Renny Knott on sports. This is ABC 7 News at 6. Proud to be on your side. ABC 7 News at 11 begins right now. Proud to be on your side. 
This is ABC 7 News at 11. Good evening. Inaugural traffic could keep thousands of federal employees from working a full day on Thursday. Proud to be on your side. This is ABC 7 News Special Edition. Good evening to you. Thanks. I have declared a state of emergency in the District of Columbia. I ask your cooperation and full support during this critical period. America Under Attack, a special report from ABC 7 News. This has been a day of epic tragedy for the United States. And it, it just slammed right into it and was completely engulfed. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack. And about the time I saw the plane, I watched it come in very low over the trees, and it just dipped down, came down right over 395, right into the Pentagon. None of us will ever forget this day, yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. This is a special report from ABC 7 News, America Under Attack. It's a terrorist attack that has killed thousands of people. Good evening, I'm Maureen Bonya. And I'm Kathleen Matthews. Thanks for joining us. We will lead the world to victory. This country will not relent until we have saved ourselves and others from the terrible tragedy that came upon America. This is a special report from ABC 7 News, America Under Attack. From ABC 7 News, this is a special report. Continuing coverage, America under attack. Good afternoon and welcome to a special edition of ABC 7 News. I'm Kathleen Matthews. And I'm Del Walters. Thank you for joining us. From ABC 7 News, this is continuing coverage, America Recovers. And good morning, Washington. It is now 6.30 on this Monday, September 17th. I'm Carol Costello. I'm Don Hudson. It's good to be with you. You're watching ABC 7's Good Morning, Washington with Doug McElway, Allison Starling, and meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff Weather. This is Good Morning, Washington. Welcome back, everybody. 14 minutes past the hour. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 11. Boy, was Washington ready for football tonight. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at noon. On your side. Residents in Florida are bracing for a double dose of tropical weather with Bonnie and Charlie bearing down. You're watching ABC 7 News at noon with Doug McCallaway. Allison Starling and meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff Weather. This is ABC 7 News at noon on your side. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. There's not much that scares me in this world. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6 with Gordon Peterson, Maureen Bunyan, Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill Weather, and Tim Brandt Sports. This is ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. Well, quite a scene on the Potomac River this afternoon when firefighters were called to a boat fire off Haynes Point. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, you're watching ABC 7 News at 11. On your side. Right off the top at 11 tonight. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11. On your side. This is ABC 7. Good morning, Washington. On your side. It is Wednesday, the 11th day of June. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is Good Morning Washington on your side. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is Good Morning Washington Saturday on your side. Good morning, Washington. It's 6.30 on this Saturday morning. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. 
Police are on the lookout tonight for teenage suspects accused of stealing a car. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. Congress and Barack Obama trying to tackle different parts of the economic crisis. We're watching ABC 7 News at 6 with Gordon Peterson, Maureen Bunyan, Chief Meteorologist Doug hill -Wother, and Tim Brandt Sports. This is ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. And we begin tonight in Arlington where Metro's warning Orange Line commuters to expect some major delays tomorrow morning. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 with Leon Harris, Maureen Bunyan, Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill Weather, and Tim Brandt Sports. This is ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center. This is ABC 7 Breaking News. We begin tonight with breaking news. Live and in HD, this is Good Morning Washington on your side. Good morning, Washington. Six o'clock on this Thursday, the 11th day of February. Live and in HD, this is ABC 7 News at noon on your side. You're watching ABC 7 News at 4 with Leon Harris, Allison Starling, Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill Weather, and Tim Brandt Sports. This is ABC 7 News at 4 on your side. Live and in HD, this is ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. And we may soon be getting our first taste of... Live from the ABC 7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. Welcome back to our special coverage of the aftermath of last night's huge storms. And here's the latest for you now at 6.30. Live and in HD, this is ABC 7 News at 6.30 on your side. Live and in HD, this is ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. Good evening, everyone. The terror didn't stop with the first explosion, as you'll see here in this version of the video that's been put into slow motion for you. Live from the ABC 7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. Well, severe thunderstorm warning. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. People here in our area are remembering those who lost their lives in today's bombings at the Boston Marathon. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. We are two days away from the opening of the Olympics, and tonight there's a warning about traveling to Russia. The nation's capital under siege. It's like pow, pow, pow. And then a few seconds it stopped, and then it pow, 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 pow. Shots ring out at the Navy Yard where thousands had just started their day at work. We saw him hold the rifle, then we saw him raise it, name it in our direction. At least a dozen were shot, and some are dead. I know that I lost a friend today. Tonight, extensive ABC7 coverage from the scene of the shooting to the safety alert and the fear that gripped the region. It is a day that none of us will soon forget. Live and in HD. This is ABC 7 Breaking News. And this breaking news is the story that... Live from ABC 7 News, this is a Stormwatch 7 special report. And up first half of 11 now, after all the talk, the storm has finally arrived. We're on storm watch tonight. A winter weather advisory was just issued for our area here, meaning we could see some snow soon. Now, good morning, Washington, on your side. Good morning. Happy Labor Day to you. We take a live look outside of the Capitol. You know. Now, good morning, Washington, on your side. Breaking right now, two stabbings overnight in the district and the latest happening less than two hours ago. You're watching Good Morning Washington on your side. 514 now and welcome back to Good Morning Washington. You're taking a live look at it. Now, Good Morning Washington on your side. 
Coming up, Supreme Court countdown, Capitol Hill waiting for news as the president prepares to announce his nominee for the nation's highest court. Now, ABC 7 News at noon on your side. Now, ABC 7 News at noon on your side. And as we come on the air at noon with the... Now, ABC 7 News at 4 on your side. Now, ABC 7 News at 4 on your side. And good afternoon. Right now, Bill Cosby is free on bail. You're watching ABC 7 News at 4 on your side. Well, this is kind of an interesting story. Police say that a Northern Virginia man threatened a computer technician. Now, ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. Tonight, D.C. police. Now, ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. In just a matter of months, one of the most stunning falls from grace you'll ever see. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. An attempt to get a computer fixed ends with the computer's owner in jail. Now, ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. The joy of a $20,000 lottery win quickly turned to disappointment for a D.C. woman. Now, ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. Maryland State Police are stepping up patrols on the Beltway after... You're watching ABC 7 News at 6 on your side. Around the district now, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser has signed a bill approved... Now, ABC 7 News at 6.30 on your side. A baby abandoned found strapped. Now, ABC 7 News at 6.30 on your side. Tonight, the severe weather threat is not over in the south, and we are learning that one of the stronger tornadoes... Now, ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. First at 11. Now, ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. A bone chilling New Year's Eve. Hopefully, you've already decided whether you're going to be outside or in. I came in second by one vote. The loss that earned this eight year old a surprise letter from Hillary Clinton. A former Green Beret from Northern Virginia now charged with murder. Tonight, the president steps in. What one tweet could mean for the case. And a teenager killed and an urgent plea for answers. You all out here talking about how great he is. If he's so great, step up if you know something. Now, ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. ABC 7 News at 11 with Leon Harris, Allison Starling, Steve Rudin, and Tim Brandt. This is ABC 7 News at 11. ABC 7 News at 11 starts now with breaking news. And that breaking news coming from Northeast Washington tonight. A 10-year-old girl killed three others shot. And police searching for the shooter tonight. From ABC 7 News, this is a breaking news alert. And that big breaking news this noon is from Pennsylvania, where an arrest warrant has been issued for embattled comedian Bill Cosby. From ABC 7 News, this is a breaking news alert. And that breaking news is out of Texas, where at least four people are dead after a violent night of weather. Well, coming up, the day is finally here. We are less than eight hours away from the swearing in of Donald Trump. The inauguration bringing with it celebrations, protests, and unprecedented security. Now, good morning, Washington, on your side. Right now on Good Morning Washington, there are new options opening up in our area for people who want the COVID vaccine. We're live with what's being offered as cases start to spike again. You're watching Good Morning Washington on your side. Right now on Good Morning Washington, a major announcement is coming from the White House. Now, Good Morning Washington on your side. We begin with a breaking news alert. That's right. Right now on Good Morning Washington, breaking news in one of the final acts of his administration. President Trump announces a long list of pardons. Now, ABC 7 News at noon on your side. As we come on the air this noon, our area bracing for a shift in temperatures. Now, ABC.
ABC 7 News at 4. On your side. First at 4 o'clock, a springtime shock to the system weather-wise. Now, ABC 7 News at 4. On your side. We begin with a breaking news alert. Breaking right now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 4. On your side. 7 is on your side, covering the region's push to get more people vaccinated. The now, ABC 7 News at 5, on your side. And right now at 5 o'clock, 7 is on your side. We're tracking heavy rain across the DMV. In fact, a live look at the rain in Upper Marlboro. Now, ABC 7 News at 5, on your side. We begin with a breaking news alert. I just heard the whole building shake. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5, on your side. Welcome back, everybody. We continue to track the rain in our area. It now, ABC 7 News at 6, on your side. And good evening on this Independence Day. A Big breaking stories at this hour. Five people shot in D.C., the search for the gunman and a motive tonight. Also, the Nationals hit by COVID, players quarantined, the effect on tomorrow's opener, plus new calls for investigations into how police treated this misbehaving five-year-old. Yeah, we want you to beat him. Get out! Sit! Seven on your side team coverage and a clinical psychologist startled reaction to the video. First at six, we are tracking a spring storm moving through our area right now. And now, ABC 7 News at 630 on your side. Well, rounds of rain and overcast skies. We are tracking this wet weather that's just hanging over the area. Now, ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. And first at 11, it was an absolutely beautiful day to get outside, but that is all about to change. As calls grow louder from some to defund police in the wake of George Floyd's death, some local school officials are now considering a controversial change to school resource officers. Plus, we're just finished being silent. Public defenders take to the streets with one very specific change they want to see. And why all these people were spotted lined up outside of a local firehouse. And right now at 11 o'clock, a live look outside the White House, what is now Black Lives Matter Plaza. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. ABC 7 is celebrating Women's History Month. This is ABC 7 News special election night coverage. It is safe to say it has been an election year like none we've seen before. It's going to be a long night as the process unfolds tonight and likely in the days ahead. We do know this. The early voting has been massive. This is the day when our democracy picks itself up. A historic inauguration. Uniting our people, uniting our nation. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. Messages of unity and visions for the future. We're a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president. Don't tell me things can't change. And good evening to you. President Biden now officially at his new home, the White House. About an hour ago, the president and his family arrived there after a day filled with ceremony. From 7 News, on your side, this is a local news update. Well, good Thursday morning to you. 7 News, on your side at 5 a.m. COVID cases continue to fall, vaccination rates continue to ramp up, but now a new warning from doctors that parents need to hear. You're watching 7 News on your side at 5 a.m. It's a desperate search for answers and suspects. A mom shot and killed after dropping her son off for college at the Naval Academy. 7 News on your side at 6 a.m. Well, right now on 7 News at 6 o'clock... 7 News on your side at 6 a.m. We begin with a breaking news alert. Yeah, breaking right now at 6 o'clock. You see an overturned tractor trailer causing a beltway backup in Bethesda. 7 News on your side at 7.30 a.m. Good morning and happy 4th. I'm Kelly Lynn. 
7 News, on your side at 8 a.m. Good morning to you. I'm Kelly Lynn. Thanks so much for joining us today. 7 News, on your side at noon. As to come on the air this noon. 7 News, on your side at 4, starts now. Right now at 4 o'clock, cleanup is underway across the DMV. The news on your side at 4 starts now. We begin with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news happening right now on Capitol Hill. A Capitol Police officer was killed and another injured after someone rammed a car into those officers and a barricade. You're watching 7 News on your side at 4. Well, today, cleanup continues after a very stormy night at the DMV. 7 News on your side at 5 starts now. We begin with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news at 5 is in Rockville. Where You're watching 7 News on your side at 5. And now at 537 News is on top of some breaking news in Rockville. 7 News on your side at 6 starts now. And right now at 6, we are just one day away from the celebrations for America's 245th birthday. Breaking now at 6. It's happened again. Another deck collapse. 7 News on your side with warning signs to check before your holiday get-together. The big cleanup. 7 News on the National Mall. The storm damage there and what the Park Service is now predicting for the 4th. Also new at 6, the celebration is on at this Maryland hospital. It feels like we survived. 7 News on your side with more positive COVID numbers statewide. Well, we begin with that breaking news in Montgomery County. 7 News on your side at 6 starts now. We begin with a breaking news alert. It is a busy afternoon as we come on the air at 6 o'clock. 7 News on your side at 6.30 starts now. Well, right now at 6.30, it is no secret that it is hot outside today. At 7 News on your side at 11 starts now. And tomorrow, a now fully reopened D.C. will welcome guests from across the country for the annual 4th of July celebration. As the nation reels from more mass shootings, President Biden promises executive action on gun control. There would be a come to the Lord moment these folks would have real quickly. Tonight, 7 News on your side with a former prosecutor's worry about an unintended consequence. And new details tonight on that deadly shooting involving an off-duty Pentagon police officer. This is really, really troubling. The rebuke of his actions, what we now know about the two men left dead. Plus, failure after failure, a scathing watchdog report on how Capitol Police handled warnings ahead of the insurrection. Our next weather maker quickly approaching. I have an updated forecast. We're tracking the timing, the impacts, and of course your weekend. Right now at 11, on the very day President Biden signs executive action on gun control, we're following two mass shootings. Channel 7, we're on your side. 